Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Hellfire, which is a fan favourite, and the new Hot Ring Hellfire, which just released. Really, in the category they are in, which the Hellfire is in Muscle, and the Hot Ring Hellfire is in Bortz, they shouldn't be comparable. One's an NASCAR, one's a streetcar, but you'll be very surprised at areas where they do have familiarities. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing modifications, the interiors of the car, we're going to be drag racing the cars, and yeah, this video to me was very surprising. I thought they were going to have nothing in common, except some of the looks. First thing, the Hot Ring Hellfire costs 1.81 million, and the normal Hellfire comes at an un uncomparable 745,000. Okay, we're now in LSC with the Hot Ring Hellfire, and first of all, we have aerials. Aerials, as you can see, it's a hot, hot ring aerial and a normal compact aerial. Something you can't modify with the normal Hellfire. And the Hellfire does have a lot of modifications. If you go to front bumpers, we've got the bolted splitter. And then, yeah, literally just the same exact splitter, but now with adjustable rods on them instead of just a normal splitter. Now, you think that's a bummer. I mean, the, the normal Hellfire has a similar thing where it's literally the same splitter and bumper, but it's just different primary, secondary color, carbon fiber, same thing, different looks. Now, under chassis on the Hot Ring Hellfire, you have trunk fins. And these trunk fins are basically just fins, aerodynamic fins. But the cool thing about this car is it has transparent ones. They're like transparent white tinted ones, which I've never seen on any other vehicle in GTA. You also have one exhaust option, which is the same stock exhaust that has titanium tips and you can just make it chrome tips instead. The Hellfire being a street car, you can have a few modifications when it comes to exhaust. Now, being a hot ring car, there are a lot of modifications. Mo nearly every modification is not comparable to the Hellfire because it's a street car. This is a NASCAR. But we can compare the hot ring Hellfire to other vehicles like the hot ring Sabre and the hot ring Everon. Now, if we compare the liveries, the liveries, about 90% of them are the same, which is expected. It's a hot ring car. A lot of people might be disappointed here being like, oh, Rockstar got lazy. But no, it's I mean, it's NASCAR. They're going to have similar liveries and the same advertisements. And then even though on the outer look, it looks like the same. If you look closer on comparing the liveries, the stickers are in a different area. The ads may be the same, but the numbers are different. The stickers are different areas. Some of them have a design that the other one doesn't have. So please don't brush over these liveries like Rockstar didn't put any effort into them because there's a lot of effort put into them. Now, if you go on the roof options, you have the same kind of fins that you have for chassis modifications, but you have them on the roof instead. You also have the transparent one, which you can hardly tell is transparent when it's that small. Now, carrying on to spoilers, it, this car shows more unique factors. There's different types of spoilers, these bolted ones. I think actually all of them are bolted when you look at look through the spoilers, but you've got bolted adjusted ones, high level bolted ones. Then you got transparent ones as well, which is pretty cool. And this, I guess you can see more of the transparent. It is white tinted, but you can see more transparentness. <laughs> then you got the same thing, but adjustable and adjustable non-transparent ones as well. And then probably no more normal spoilers, G GT spoilers that you can get. I would have liked to see a lot more travel with suspension. I know some people are going to say it's NASCAR and that's the way it's set up. I mean, the Everon does have a lot more movement. The Everon even has a bit of camber going to it as well. But it's almost like these cars are both NASCARs, but share different unique factors. And yeah, that's all to the modification on the Everon. It has a lot of unique ones. And of course, the back panel stickers and uh, the front headlights and grille are all stickers as well. So you can't modify them like you can with the Hellfire. I thought that was kind of obvious. Also, you don't have any back bumper options. Okay, so the Hot Ring Hellfire versus the Hellfire. Now, I'm not going to use a wheelie here. I'm just going to use a burnout and we're going to let go of burnout at the, when the bomb goes. And that's just because that's a sports car and this is a muscle car. So I could do a wheelie, he can't. And yeah, as soon as we let off, the Hot Ring Hellfire stormed off like a lot faster. The grip is way better and it's kind of expected when you think of it as a NASCAR. But then, you know, whilst we picked up a bit more speed, it didn't seem like he was moving away from me. There was no debate that he had a better launch and his car just grips up way better than mine. So I just had an idea of let's do a rolling race and see the difference then. So yeah, we both swap cars and we're both going to roll. I don't know what speed this is. And then on the tarmac of the runway, you'll see the lines. We're going to go on the lines. And then you can kind of see, which is really shocking here, that both cars seem to perform very, very similar. And then when we got to really high speeds, it seemed like the Hellfire kind of creeped forward, but then it didn't creep forward. I don't know. I don't know. It was really shocking to me. But then when I braked, I was like, 
damn this thing this thing breaks really well so let's now do a break test and compare the two differences so the same thing we just rolled we both tried to get level with each other as you can tell it didn't really work out <laughs> and then when we got to the lines on the end of the runway we then did a brake test with these flaps that come up uh, it looks cool and yeah, I stopped way, way earlier than his car. Whilst he's reversing back, just keep an eye on where I actually stopped. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Hot Ring Everon. So I stopped right here just before the end of the lines. And let's compare it with the Hot Ring Everon that doesn't have these flaps. With the Hot Ring Everon, I do think I braked a slight bit earlier. But as you can see, it loses to the Hot Ring Hellfire. Then the hot ring hellfire braking doesn't seem impressive, but I guess it's got the best brakes. But anyway, let's get into the looks of these cars and compare them there. Now looking at the cars instantly, you can see there's major, major differences. For example, the arches are more smoothened out and boxed out like a NASCAR on the hot ring hellfire. When you do see these cars side by side, you can clearly tell they're totally different cars. But we will still point out the obvious, like the front bonnet on the hot ring hellfire. It's bolted down and there is no modifications for the bonnet if you are thinking that. But it does have the same vent design as if you modified the normal Hellfire with the bonnet with the vents on it. They are still different but it looks a lot similar. But these two cars here are with zero modification so they're all fully upgraded engine wise but not any physical modification. And clearly when you do look at the Hot Ring Hellfire it is the headlights don't work because they're yet yeah, they're stickers i'm not going to say the corny lightning mcqueen thing but surprisingly still a very similar design when it comes to bumpers it's just the splitter is different because of the design going to the wide arch of the normal hellfire and when you go to a certain angle you can definitely see the big difference of the front of the car you can see the more boxier design you can see the arch a lot more square and also the hot ring hellfire has no wing mirrors Clearly, you've got a full stripped out race interior for the Hot Ring Hellfire. And yeah, but you'd be mad. You'd be mad if you left in the normal Hellfire interior. Like, yeah, that's a very obvious difference with the net on the door and everything. For some reason, they also have nitrous in the Hot Ring Hellfire. Coming to the back, again, for the NASCAR one, you do have a sticker instead of a back panel and lights. And you had a very obvious smoothed out bumper. The back of these cars are where they look most different. No exhaust layout at the back of the Hot Ring Hellfire. No diffuser, just like a NASCAR, all smoothed out. Because the Hot Ring Hellfire does have a side ex exit exhaust. Looking at the engine bay on both these cars, you can see the Hot Ring Hellfire has a different race V8 layout. And then the normal Hellfire has the V8 with like a plenum on top of the V8. In the trunk, you can see the Hot Ring Hellfire has a little fuel tank, which is actually detailed. It actually goes to the filler cap outside. And the normal Hellfire being a pretty old car, yeah, it... it it looks terrible in the boot and even the wheel pokes through. <laughs> there we go, a good view of the rear panel sticker. And yeah, you can just see it's like a copy and paste. It's literally like someone took a picture and it saturated the back panel of the original Hellfire. I was thinking, is there any point really of comparing the handling? The handling on the Hot Ring Hellfire is very similar to the Hot Ring Sabre and the Hot Ring Everon. The strong point of this car is definitely the brakes. And yeah, at least you've got a few modifications on this car, unlike the Everon, where you hardly had any. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd see you guys in the next one.